What's up everyone? Welcome back here to the Mega Moves channel. Of course we're here for another Disney vlog and I'm super excited for today because I'm going to be spending the day at Disney's Hollywood Studios. I'm excited for today not only because it's my first time back since July, but I'm also super eager to see all of the Christmas decorations that they have throughout the park. I've been to Magic Kingdom once before during the Christmas season, but this is going to be the first park that I've been to to see all of the other Christmas decorations that they have at Disney during this time. And of course, since it's the holiday season and I'm here to see all of the Christmas decorations, today's outfit is super Christmassy. I decided to wear my Christmas NASA shirt and my favorite holiday ears that I've made. I'm super excited about these ones and I have a matching scrunchie with them, as well as my new Minnie Mouse earrings. So let's go ahead and get on in there and see what we can come up with today. I am sad though because I didn't even think to make a Christmas mask for this day, but today instead we are wearing our Friends inspired mask, which I am still excited about. I'm also excited because for Black Friday I got a new pair of Disney walking shoes and today's gonna be my first day trying them out. So I plan on spending most of the day here because I really wanna catch the Christmas projections that they're putting on the Tower of Terror. Um, in the evening, so I got here a little bit around noon And so we're just gonna spend the day here and see what all we can get into There are three things though that I'm really looking forward to doing today I really want to do the rock and roller coaster obviously see the projections on the Tower of Terror and potentially get a Jack Jack num num cookie as a snack All right, we made it through temperature checks and security and right off I already see some of the Christmas decorations some of the Christmas decorations and we're over here by Tower of Terror so I wanted to check out the rock and roller coaster and this is currently the line it is backed up all the way back there it says it's about a 60 minute wait so I think we're gonna go ahead and do it since it's one of the rides that I was really looking forward to and at least I'll get to hear the fun Christmas music and see the Tower of Terror along the way. So as we wait to get on Rock and Roller Coaster, I wanted to talk about the first time that I ever rode Rock and Roller Coaster as well as the Tower of Terror. I was probably 10 years old at the time and I remember being so excited to ride Rock and Roller Coaster because I had seen so many advertisements about it on the Disney Channel. So even though I was really excited to ride, I was also really nervous because in the advertisements they talked about the upside down and loop-de-loop -loop part of the ride and this was going to be the first upside down ride that I had ever ridden. So we waited in line for probably an hour and right when we got on the ride, I was about to chicken out and I wanted my dad to leave the ride with me, but he convinced me to stay and try it out and I'm so glad that I did because I ended up loving it and I even loved the upside down part. However, my first time riding Tower of Terror did not go that successfully. I remember getting on the ride and being a little bit excited but also nervous to ride the ride and I got very scared and ended up crying the entire time. I wish we still had the photo pass picture from that ride because I would have loved to have seen my expression back then but we also rode it a second time and I cried the entire second time and I swore to myself that I was never going to ride the ride again. Until February of this year, I ended up going with a couple of friends and I ended up conquering my fear of the Tower of Terror and it actually is one of my favorite rides that they have at Hollywood Studios now. Well guys, so far we've gotten to do Tower of Terror and Rock and Roller Coaster, both of the rides I waited probably 40 minutes for and now we're going to hop on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway and see how that ride's going. And here's the beginning of the ride, about 50 minutes, so let's see how long it actually takes.
guys, it's been a little bit since I've updated you. I think I last left you at Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. It was a great ride and I just got done doing a live stream and had a lot of fun with it. We got to do Toy Story Mania, but now I'm gonna head on over to Galaxy's Edge and see what the wait times are for Smuggler's Run. And as we're entering into Galaxy's Edge, there's this photo pass that I really want to get that you can get a picture with the child. So we're going to get that before we get any further. Oh, nice. And the wait for Smuggler's Run is 40 minutes. So that's what we're going to check out next. Well, we were able to enjoy Smuggler's Run and I was able to take advantage of some of the photo passes that are around the Galaxy Edge area and it's dark out now, so let's go on over and let's try to catch those holiday projections.